So I'm going to show you how to do this sunburst granny square with a stained glass look. And to let you know, this tutorial assumes that you already know basic crochet terms. And if you don't, there are some great beginner videos for those, but uh, this is for people who already know the basics. Here we go. You're going to start out with doing a slip knot and then chaining five. I have some problems with my hands, so I, I'm a little clumsy sometimes, but there we go. So five, go into the first one, chain them together, and then chain two. Now you're going to tuck that end in so that it is easier to go over it and do double crochet. And you're going to do 15 double crochets, making a total of 16 with your chain. And the yarn I am using is Rainbow Palindrome by Blue Barn Fiber in a Cuddle Erin, and each batch is a little different, but most of the batches I got, or most of the um, uh, skeins I got, were pretty perfect on 16 coming right back around to the rainbow and having an evenly distributed rainbow. Um, well, a little bit more red, a little bit more purple, but because it's a palindrome, but um, came out pretty even. And I've got a knot. I don't know how that happened. But this is a really fun yarn to work with because every time you put the hook in and it pops up another stitch, it's um, or another loop, it's a different color, so that's fun. Okay, here I go. So I'm continuing to go over that tail to incorporate it. And every once in a while I give a little pull to the tail to kind of keep it under and keep the loop from getting bigger. And see, so I'm holding it in place with my thumb there so that it doesn't slip. Because sometimes it can kind of make the hole bigger and bigger as you go. So I kind of check it at some point and make sure that it's the right size. So there's me being clumsy again. Okay, so you see the colors come around pretty evenly there. Oops, yeah. I realized I'd gone over because the colors didn't come out evenly. There's me counting. And I was right, I have 16. Do put it into the, through the top two bits of that uh, crochet piece. And then through slip it together, and I'm going to draw it out, and cut it, and... Okay, you can see that I neatened it up by crocheting my end through. Now I'm going to pull a loop through, crochet one with both, drop the tail, crochet a second one, and then I'm going to go over into the next set of loops to the left of where I am and up and catch it again, go through, catch up, over, catch up, and I will have seven things to pull through and chain one. And again, down, up, passed over, down, up, passed over, down, catch it up three times, pull through all seven, chain one. And there is a reason I went into the two loops to the left of my chain instead of going into the same one. And you will see at the end, it just looks neater the way I do it, uh, the way I finish it. This is called a bobble stitch. So, and I'm keeping my tail in there. Over, catch up. Passed over, catch up, 
Rest over, catch up three times, pull through all seven, chain one. Cast over, through, catch up, get the tension even to about double crochet height, down, catch up, cast over, down, up, three times, even out the tension, pull through, chain one. And evening out the tension is kind of important because otherwise you get some that are sticking out weird and some that are pulling tighter. It just looks neater when you even out the tension at the end like that. So over, through, catch up, over, through, catch up, over, through, catch up, even it out, pull through, chain one. And just go through and do um, 15 and then the 16th one we're going to do slightly differently. But at the end of this, you really want to make sure that you have 16. Otherwise, at the very last step, you're going to cry. Now I've got to the end, I'm going to go through, cast over one, go through, cast over two, and not do three. I'm going to go through the top of that chain, pull through all the loops, and the chain plus the two loops makes it look about even with the rest of them. And so it comes out not looking like you've got a chain stuck in the middle there. And now I'm going to crochet my or pull my tail through and hide it neatly before I do the next step. And this is what I did with the first circle. Okay, I'm going to pull my loop through, get my tail, pull both through my first crochet, pull and crochet one more, so I've chained two effectively, over twice, down through, come up, go through two loops, go over again, and pull through two loops, and then I'm going to pull through all four. This is different than the rest. Then I'm going to change two, chain two, sorry. And I did that beginning slightly differently than the rest of the stitches because it looks better at the end. You don't get an extra thick one. Um, the rest we will do that going through twice, three times instead of two times. But for this one, that first um, chain two counts as our first one. Okay, so we've done that one step, that one segment, chain two, go over twice, pull through two, go down, pull through two, and then again, pull through two. So now we have five loops to pull through, chain two. So over twice, down through, through two, cast over, pull through two, cast over, Pull through two, and now we're going to go through five loops, chain two. That's the same all the way around. So. Okay. 
chain two, cast over twice, through, pull through two loops, over, pull through two loops, over, pull through two loops, and then pull through five loops, chain two, all the way around. Okay, chain two, and now we're gonna go through the first two there, loops, and pull it through, through again, and pull it off, cut, and I'm going to pull that tail through, neaten it up. Now we've got our rainbow circle, and I'm gonna pick a spot that isn't near any of the tails or anything, 
and go through, cut my loop, pull through two, even it out, drop the tail, grab one, chain one, and then I'm going to do a half double crochet and another half double crochet. I'm trapping the tail in there. Now I'm gonna neaten up my tail here. Get that integrated before I go any further. And the next thing we're gonna do to make our square shape is a double crochet and then a triple crochet, chain three, triple crochet, then back to the double crochet, then half double, then back to the double crochet, then back to the triple, chain three, triple, and that's what makes our square shape. So here we go, doing a double crochet. We're gonna do three double crochets. So we did three half doubles, now we're doing three doubles. Now we're going to do three triples. I know it's different in the UK, but I forget what it is. This is the US way. It's um, triple crochet. And triple crochet. And now we're going to chain three. That's going to make our corner, then triple crochet. These are always the toughest for me. I don't know about you. Triple crochet. And triple crochet. And that's our corner. So now we're going to back to double. Double, double, and it pays to count, and now half double again, it really pays to count that first circle and make sure you have 16 because, and then count the second circle too and make sure it's 16, just because if you get to this point and it's wrong, it's because those are wrong. So we're now we're back to double crochet. So the lowest point in the square is the half double, and then we go back to double, three doubles, three triples, And then back to three, chaining three to make our corner. And then three more triples. And then doubles. And then half doubles. And then doubles. And then the triples again. And you get the idea.
You can always skip ahead. Ah. <laughs> For some reason, it's harder doing this on a video. It sort of messes you up a little bit. Okay, so we're doing our last double, and then we're going to join up with that first half double that we did. And go through those top two loops. through, and chain, pull through, give it a cut, and then neaten it up. And now comes the special part is next. We've got our square. Uh, now is where it gets wacky, and I do, I just made up my own thing here. So I'm going to zoom in on it. I'm going to go through that little bar at the very top of this inner circle, and I'm going to do my thing where I leave a tail, pull both through, and I'm going to get that reasonably tight, and then I'm going to drop the tail and crochet one. Now I'm going to go through the next little bar at the very top of the that wheel. And I'm going to pull through. And crochet one. Oh, sorry, I'm out of camera there. And then that's sort of a double bar where the beginning was. Oh, sorry, I'm out of camera there. Um, and some more of a pain to get through there. Crochet one. And going through the next bar. Crochet one. I'm trying to get back in the camera here. Through the next bar. Crochet one. And those are like the very outmost vertical bar of the inner rainbow ring. So I'm just going under them from the top, pull through, get it tight, chain one. And I'm just going to do that around the whole thing, under the bar. Getting the tension right on this is, is a little tricky, but you know you, you want to kind of pull it a little bit to get a nice even thing going. Tension, crochet one, under the bar. And there is a little sort of a double bar on one of them. And it's a little bit annoying, but you'll figure it out. And so we're just going to make a nice circle all the way around. Under the bar. Pull through. Crochet one. See, we've got our circle forming. And I'm keeping the, the end on the bottom throughout. I think it helps just to keep it on one side or the other. And for me, it's easiest to keep it on the bottom. So I bring it down, pull through, catch it, pull it down, under the bar, pull through. And this might be easier for you to do before you put the black on the outside of the circle, or it might be easier with the black. I, I've done it both ways. I'm not convinced easier, either is much easier than the other, but it's, you might find it is. Okay, so now I'm going to go through the first stitch 
and pull through, and I'm going to chain two. Get the tension right. Chain two, and now I'm going to go under the in between, sort of diagonally. Oops, oh, you'll see on the next stitch. There, there we go, diagonally. There, under there, and through again, get the tension even chain one. Now I'm going to do an upside down double crochet. So I'm going to go around once and I'm going to go down into that bar that's between sort of horizontal bar between those two purple blue things and do the double crochet upwards. And now I'm going to do the same thing where I go diagonally across there, pull it through, tension, do a crochet stitch, then double crochet upside down into that, into that bar. And that, unfortunately, it makes the double crochet a little tricky to do. It just wants to snag on that middle stitch. It's a pain, but you know, you can get there. And so diagonally under there, grab it through tension, one stitch and down through the double crochet down through the bar grab it oops i got an extra piece there so i'm gonna undo that there we go and up through the double crochet and you just have to keep turning it back and forth just upside down right side up upside down right side up um, and chain one Back to double crochet through that bar, turn it upside down, pull it through, and turn it around again, through the diagonal, chain one, double crochet down, and up again, through the diagonal, there it goes. And just do that to the end.
Okay, I've got my last stitch, so crochet one and go through sort of like a little bit down from the top there so that it makes a nice arc, um, sort of at the bottom of that arc that's going to happen. We're going to do our finishing loop there, pull it tight. Cut it off, and then we're going to neatly weave it through again. Just pull it behind the black. And I really like the way this looks. This the black, the contrast of the black against the rainbow is just awesome. And there we are, a sunburst stained glass granny square. And in my design, I am doing the sunburst pattern in both black and this rainbow stained glass effect to do a sort of checkerboard between black and rainbow. And I have a second tutorial on doing a single color for the black and having it come out smooth and seamless. And this video is brought to you by the Chaos Workshop, which is our crazy household where we build all kinds of random things all the time. And I wish you good making and building too. Bye-bye.